Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to this evening dedicated to the fabulous Virunga National Park. And thank you, Tanguy, for these fantastic images. For those of you who have not had the opportunity to visit the park, that's what we will be talking about uh, tonight. The evening is organized uh, by Argus together with WWF. And the first words after the film will be for Damien Vincent and Ronald Beeks, president and director of WWF Belgium. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Some years ago, WWF Belgium decided that it would concentrate its efforts on the protection of the forests and the inhabitants of the Congo Basin. The Congo rainforest is the second largest forest in the world and may one day become the largest still to be protected. Two years ago, a trip was organized to Congo and the objective was to better understand the needs, the issues, and how WWF with its not unlimited means could, be, could do the best possible job. We were a group of 12 people, some board and staff members, but mostly some sympathizers or potential supporters of our organization. For me and for several other participants, this was the most interesting, but also the most challenging trip I ever made. One of the members of our group was Helga van der Wegen of KBC, Argus, our host today. Helga took the initiative to organize this event. I sincerely want to thank her for that and also for being such a good ambassador of WWF. After having landed in Kigali, we went straight to the north of Kivu, the Kivu region, where we met Emmanuel de Merode, the head, the director of the Virunga Park. Emmanuel looked and spoke the most beautiful English like this well-known actor, you know, Hugh Grant, only he is younger and more serious. And what we heard and what we saw was absolutely fascinating. When five meter, meters away from you, you see a gorilla family, and you see the expression of a gorilla mother asking you to bring peace and to protect her and her baby, this is something you will never forget. I want to thank Emmanuel again for, the, for having received us so well and express the admiration for what he is achieving in such a difficult and dangerous place. After we left Emmanuel, we went to Goma, where we met the local WWF representatives and staff, and we were sincerely impressed with what they were able to accomplish with the help of the local, local inhabitants. What was very encouraging was to see how much the Congolese people appreciated our presence. More about this when I handle the floor to our CEO, Damien Vincent. Of course, we know that what we do is a glass of water in a sea of needs. But every glass counts. And therefore, I want to express my gratitude for your presence, your friendship, and for your support. Thank you again. Damien, the floor is yours. Thank you, Ronald. Monsieur le Ministre, dames and heren, uh, dear friends of Virunga, I have decided to keep focus on my paper, otherwise I will just go over my five minutes. As, mentioned, as Ronald mentioned, the Virunga National Park is part of the Congo Basin Forest, which is the second largest tropical rainforest in the world just about the size of Europe. 
the film directed by Tanguy Dumortier and Philippe Lamère speaks by itself why WWF has decided, more, has decided more than 25 years ago to, to get involved to preserve the region. WWF Belgium has decided a few years ago to focus its investment in the Congo Basin. And we invest more than two millions a year since then. For example, via the project Ecomacala, WWF, with donors, of which the European Union um, is the most important, and 5,000 5, local partners and farmers, we have planted 5 million trees around the park of Virunga. The objective is to guarantee the sustainable supply of charcoal to the 1 million inhabitants of Goma and surrounding, and therefore limit the pressure on the park. These achievements have impact at scale for the park and for the local people, as we have already been able to reach almost 25% of the needs. Gerd Lejeune, my colleague, will tell you more about it. In the future, WWF will definitely maintain and hopefully develop, reinforce its support, its support in and around the park. Today, the rather new big issue is the threats of oil drilling in the park. And Marc Langui will touch the issue in its presentation and the work we try to develop with the civil society. Before I let the floor to the people of the field, I, I would like to express my gratitude first to all speakers for their presence tonight and their commitment for the region. To the partners of tonight's conference, namely Argus as organizer, CNAC, Le Vif L'Express, but also the tour operator Terre d'Afrique that tries to develop tourism in the Virunga. Last but not least, to all current donors for their continuous invol involvement in the region. The popular success of this event confirms the interest of the Belgian of the Belgians for the region. I hope you will all be convinced after this conference of the, of the importance to start, to continue, or to reinforce your individual, individual support to the preservation of this magnificent region, its people, and its natural beauty. In three words, we need you. Enjoy your evening.